Shemai, butt! Okay, so in this video, we are going to be looking at insulating the van. I've already made a start on the roof and some of the doors. I wanted to get these bits done first because a bit of basic science, heat travels up. So I wanted to keep as much of it up there, really, um, and around the doors where there's a bit more ventilation. So in this part now, what we'll be looking at doing the walls and I wanted to wait until I got the electrics done because, well, I needed to know where everything was gonna be before doing this. What I will be using is this recycled bottled um, insulation. I don't know how it's made. All I know is it's recycled bottled. Um, plastic bottles, obviously not glass, I think. Not sure, um, but uh, yeah. This seems to be on the rise, a lot of people are using this um, as an alternative form of insulating and it is actually really good. As I just said, I've done the roof and the doors and it is quite warm in here already. We don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway because I will get shouted at if I don't. So we will be using this sort of type of insulation. To cover it, I'm not going to vapor barrier, I'm sort of just doing this, making little pillows and sticking them on. I am going to be using Thermowrap for the wider bits and the Wix's stuff uh, for the not so wide bits. Um, the pricing, it's not much different really. Um, they cover roughly about the same size as well, I think there's more meterage in the Wix one than in the thermal wrap, but the thermal wrap is wider, so it all sort of equals out. So we will be using that as our sort of, to keep it all tidy. Also, contact adhesive, just to spray it, stick it. And to seal the edges, I will be using the aluminium foil tape. Let's get cracking, I suppose. Right, okay, I think I'm gonna start off by showing you this bit at the top here. Um, you can also see just a little bit that I've done these bits up here and the same in the back. I have had to open one door just for a little bit of ventilation. Actually, I'll probably open this one as well for ventilation because I don't want to die. Um, so yeah. Please excuse a little bit of the noise if there's cars coming past or anything like that. Out of my control. But yes, I'm gonna start with this bit. Show you a little bit. Do it. Probably merge in a bit of me doing the doors and the windows and the ceiling. And we'll go from there. Right, so this bit, these bits of cables, could probably stay behind the insulation, I'd imagine, because they're all gonna be hidden. That goes towards the control panel, which will be down there. So we've got the lights, all sorts of stuff. Um, so all that can probably be hidden. This I'll need probably out. This, this is for things that I'm not gonna reveal just yet. But that can probably go on the insulation like that as well. Cool. I need to stop tossing these cut. Ah! That's gonna happen. Okay, let's go. About 190. GoPro is on, baby. You want about 180. One eighty? No, one ninety. One ninety, I said. So about there. So I'm just gonna right there. See, easy, easy as that. Just double check. 
Yep, it's a little bit, a little bit wide. Could use scissors if you want. That's probably a good idea, Zach, but. This stuff is quite thick as well, so if you need to, you can thin it out by just pulling it. As you can see, because we've stretched it, it's a bit longer than it needs to be. This is an old can, by the way. <laughs> I think we just started just using this one, and it's died already. I'm bloody boiling already. That's two meters if I go for about two oh five. The bit that seems to be taking the longest time is actually trying to separate the back end of the silver foil. Right, so that bit's done. Um, yeah, not the tidiest job, probably, but that's what we're going for. A little bit of, little bit of give in it. So it's not completely tight and restricting the airflow. There's a bit of flow of air in these holes, which will 
go around the entire van and in here because you're never going to make it completely watertight because there are holes that literally lead outside like uh like down there i believe for instance it, there, there's a hole shut up there is a hole that will go outside there see that hole that hole there is connected to there so you tell me how are you going to completely keep the moisture out so there we are another thing i would like to add as well while it's in there top of the cab here i haven't bothered insulating that i've just carpeted straight on there is a little bit of insulation in these cubby holes somewhere i don't know but believe me there is a little bit of insulation i've only just packed it just just to make sure i put some in there right i suppose we should get on with this side now Right then, boyos, I think that is where I'm going to leave this video. I was hoping to get a little bit more done on the lines of the framework or the, the ply lining, but I think this video is getting on a little bit, and all I've really done is sellotape the foil to the side of the vans. But it's all important. Usually I have a lot handful of people to thank at the end of these videos, but for once, I've actually been able to do something by myself in the van. Actually, no, I tell a lie. I have my little girl to thank because she did help me with the fluffy bits. So, big thank you to her. 
Hopefully now it won't be long until I get the next video out. I know I say that at the end of every video, but I actually feel like I'm starting to make the content and space out the, um, the dishing it out better. Although saying that, I do plan on bringing the van up to download in the next few days. And if last year has any, any reputation to go on, there might be more work to do to the van before we make any actual progress. I say in a few days time, although going off my timeline, when this video gets posted I probably all would have been and gone. So if you're interested in knowing how well it goes, go follow the social media. I would also like to say it's probably worth you doing a little bit of your own research when it comes to the insulating of, of, of a van because there's a wide... Um, topic of conversation about whether you should vapor barrier whether you should use the wall the recycled bottled stuff uh, the king span closed cell the, the list goes on and everybody has a point of view to say um, I've tried giving you a little bit of my thoughts on it about obviously the holes that lead to the outside of the van so it's never going to be but all I'll say is do your own little bit of research before you make a decision because there might be something out there that you would prefer to do on yours. As I have decided that I thought it would be best to do my van in this, this way. But anyway, until next time, bye bye.